WHS 11 Southern Indiana reporter L Smith has the interviews tonight that are giving us more insight into the two people who police say never knew each other. We need to warn you, the details surrounding this case are gruesome. Today I was able to speak with someone who is remembering Gambetti for the way she lived, not how she died. It is, it's, it's surreal. It is, it's almost hard to grasp that she's not here now. Steve Burks is the pastor at First Assembly of God in New Albany, the church where Melody Gambetti attended the church where she spent her Sundays in her adult Sunday school class and service, and the church where she donated her time and money to the homeless ministry. She was just one of those ladies that when you meet her, there was an instant connection with her. And so that was the thing that was so amazing about her. When asked to describe Gambetti, Burks, her neighbors, and friends describe a woman of faith, a woman who loved her cats, and a woman who loved people. Burks last saw Gambetti at church Sunday, and he says their last interaction was almost eerie in retrospect. His sermon was on the subject of grace that empowers you to forgive. Tuesday, Gambetti was found decapitated in her apartment on Kensington Drive after police responded to reports of a fire there. The crime scene shocked veteran police officers. In 23 years, I've seen a lot, we've, we've all seen a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> and uh, some things just don't make any sense. Brian Williams has been charged with her murder, arson, and theft. Williams has no previous record in Indiana, but in Kentucky, his record includes a felony for robbery and two misdemeanors for resisting arrest and loitering. Williams lives less than three miles away from Gambetti's apartment. News of the gruesome details surrounding Gambetti's death shocked those who knew her, but also those who know Williams. It is absolutely terrifying. Sharissa McMillan lives right next to Williams. They were friends who spoke often and played video games together. And now McMillan is questioning everything. He never showed me any red flags, never seemed like he was on drugs, never seen. He just seemed like a very laid back, cool, chill guy. According to police, parts of Gambetti's body were found in a suitcase inside Williams' apartment. Williams will appear in court for a pre-trial conference on September 1st. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Elle Smith.